my name's Grace. And I'm Sarah. And today we're going to be talking to you all about Galaxy AI and how it is designed to make everyday tasks faster, smarter and more secure. We're going to start with talking through around the privacy settings and the security that's baked into these devices. And then we're going to have a little bit of a look around Galaxy AI with Circle to Search and of course the powerhouse with Samsung Notes and the plethora of AI tools on there. Now all of these features are designed to save you time, keep you safe and make your Galaxy device useful in everyday life. Now, starting off with privacy on our Galaxy devices. Now, with AI, it is taking the stage and everyone's using it, but there are some people out there that are not used to it. They might be a little bit skeptical. So talk to us, Sarah, about how we can reassure and, um, and reassure our consumers that our devices are going to stay safe. 100%. Now, Galaxy AI is so powerful, but your privacy is so, so important. So on our Galaxy devices, you're able to toggle on or off if you want to use processing data only on device, or if you want to get the entire suite of Galaxy AI and use that secure cloud. And of course, Samsung Knox is a physical chip that sits within the phone to give you peace of mind knowing that your device is protected from the inside out. Now, first of all, I just wanna show you how easy it is to toggle on that processing only on device option. So first thing I want to do is I want to access the settings. Quick way to do that is just drag down from the top and then click on the cog there. When I select here Galaxy AI, you'll see the entire Galaxy AI suite that we have available to us. Now, as we scroll right towards the bottom, we can have a look more at the about advanced intelligence. Maybe you do wanna have a bit more information there, but just above that, we have got process data only on device. Now, when I toggle that on, what that will do is it will make sure that any of my my data is processed only on the device. You will still get access to some of the Galaxy AI features, but I absolutely love Galaxy AI. So for me, I'm gonna make sure that I am using the entire suite. Now I mentioned also previously Samsung Knox. To find this in the phone, what I need to do is I scroll down towards where it says security and privacy. This is amazing because what it does when I select it is it's gonna scan the phone and give me some hints or maybe even some suggestions as what I can do to make sure my phone is the most protected it can be. As you see here, we've got one suggestion to set a lock screen. So I could easily put that as a fingerprint or a number, whatever I want to do. But if I scroll down, I can see I've got app security, but when I see security status of your devices, what this is doing then is it shows us Knox Matrix is scanning the phone, monitoring anything going on in the background, and we've currently got no threats found. If there was a threat, it could be something to do with maybe some malicious software that was downloaded via an app or maybe an email. And what Knox will do is it will work on that in the background to help get rid of that so you can still use your device. But this truly, truly gives you peace of mind knowing your phone is as protected as it could possibly be. Now, Grace, I've said that I want to be able to use the entire suite of Galaxy AI. Do, would you prefer to use the entire suite or are you going to stick to processing only on device? I definitely processing the entire thing. We've got so many amazing features on there. I yeah. want them all, all the bells and whistles. <laughs> Absolutely. And like I said, I'm the same. And I think for me specifically, I want to be able to use all of the suite, but knowing that I have got Knox Matrix built into the device, I have got full confidence that my phone is incredibly safe and I still get to use the entire suite of Galaxy AI. So speaking of, Circle to Search, Grace, yes. one of our favorite AI features, talk us through that. Yes, so Circle to Search is the easiest way to find any bit of information with instant results. There is no need to scroll through different apps. You can just circle and search it. So as I said earlier, circle search is the quickest way to get instant results. And it's not just circling an image on the screen anymore. There's so many more things that you can do with it. Uh, where it's uh, translating text, so foreign text onto the on the screen, whether it's finding an image, finding a song, you might even do it to solve a bit of math. So let's show you how to use it today. Now, if you want to activate Circle Search, you want to press and hold the home button that's at the bottom of the screen. Now, if you have swapped your phone to swipe gestures, you're just holding down where the middle is. So hold it down. As you can see, Circle Search is instantly activated. So let's show you how we use it to translate text that's on our screen. So here I have a beautiful uh, Korean poem but I want to find out what it means, so I'm gonna hold it down. And then that far button on the right 
give that a press and that's going to instantly translate that text from Korean to English. Now you notice that I didn't even have to type in what language it is, it's automatically detected it. So translated from Korean to English. So that's one way that you can use it. Now next up, we can do it to solve a bit of math. So I'm absolutely terrible at maths. <laughs> Same. Um, I'm very <laughs> surprised that I passed it uh, for GCSEs. But now you can use it to solve the equation. So I've got an equation on my phone, circled search, circle round it, and there we go. We've got an instant, it's giving you the answer, but not only that, it's told you how to solve it as well. So it's not just skipping those steps, it's giving you the step-by-step -step basis. And then our final one, we are going to copy some text that we have on an image. So I've got a poster here, and I want to copy the text that's on there. So holding it down, circling it again, and we're gonna select that text and copy it. I'm gonna put it into my notes. So loading up my Samsung notes, loading up my Samsung notes, and I'm gonna click new, and as you can see, it's copied to my clipboard, give that a press, and it's instantly taking it from that poster on Google onto our notes here. Mm. Very nice and simple. So it's not just your average circle on the screen. There's so many different ways that you can use this feature. So Sarah, please tell us, how would you use circle search in everyday life? Oh, there's so many options. I think the, one of the, the ones I use the most is probably the circle search to help identify music. So whether or not I'm, I'm in a place and I want to find a, I think, oh, this song's really nice. I can press that musical note that's on there and it listens, tells me what it is. I can even hum into it. One I've been using a lot recently is if I've, I've seen a poster and I wanted to find out where the address is. So I use circle to search copied the address and I put it straight into my maps and then it took me directly to which made my life a lot easier. What about you Grace? Mine is always trying to find out where bits of fashion is from. So if mm. I'm scrolling on social media and someone has a really nice pair of shoes, really nice jacket, I always use circle search to find out where it's from and then I instantly buy it. It's brilliant. <laughs> I mean not good for my bank account but good for my wardrobe. <laughs> Now Sarah is going to take us through Samsung Notes using our Tab S11 Ultra. Absolutely, and then, you know, with regards to our Samsung Notes, it helps you level up your creativity and your productivity, whether or not that is writing on the screen with your own handwriting, and then it, AI can then turn that into digital text, or maybe you want to record a meeting. It's like having your own personal assistant built into this device. So first, let's have a look at how it can convert my handwriting into text. So I've got Samsung Notes loaded up here and I'm gonna use the redesigned S Pen to be able to write directly on the screen. And what I can do now is I can select that cloud outline, circle the area that I want to be converted. I can either cut, copy, delete, even change the style, but I can select convert to text. And it's done there for me that quick, that simple. It can read my handwriting. It is fantastic for those that maybe want meetings or maybe even bullet journaling. Something else it can do as well is it can help you with your meeting notes. So you can record and transcribe your meetings directly into your Samsung notes. So you'll see at the top here, we've got a voice recording and I can select this, these three dots here. When I select that, I can convert that into text. So directly at the bottom there, you can see I have a transcription of what I said into this device slightly earlier. If I want to, I could summarize that and I can create that as a meeting notes. And there is also the option to translate. So you could have a meeting, maybe you're going to a meeting with somebody whose first language is Korean. You can record that and then you can have it transcribed to you in English or the other way around if you want to be able to make sure that your colleagues can read and see what the meeting was about, you can record it in English and then transcribe it into Korean. So there's so many different productivity and creativity options available on Samsung Notes. Grace, what do you think you would use it for? 100% helping me to multitask and using it in meetings. We tend to have a lot of meetings um, as our group and I can't, I can't do two things at once. So <laughs> if I'm writing, I'm not listening. And if I'm listening, I can't write. So being able to record the meeting and then it's instantly just gonna put it in my notes so that I can digest it. And then at a later date, go back and read for it as well. And the fact that you're able to summarize it as well just makes things 100 times easier. I agree, I agree. I think for me, I'm just, I'm kind of getting into my, um, my journaling. So I like the fact that I can write on it. It's able to help me straighten things up easily, convert that then into text so I 
you know, my writing's not the best, but it looks so much nicer on this device because I can convert it into text. So there we have it. We have gone through those three features. Now let's just recap what we went over today. So first of all, Sarah took us through the privacy settings and security on your Galaxy device to make it nice and safe. And Grace spoke through how easy it is to launch Circle to Search so you can either solve your next math problem or find your next wardrobe purchase. And then finally, Sarah talked about Samsung Notes and how we can use it to maximize your life and make it that little bit easier. So Galaxy AI, it's smart, it's secure, and it's built to make your everyday easier. We'll see you at the next one. Bye-bye.